Hello and welcome again. This is a, another video review for um, Sympology Blog. We are here on, on the shores of beautiful Walloon Lake at Green Tree Cottage in the Wildwood uh, Basin, into the lake, something like that. Um, and today we're going to be doing a review of Traverse City Whiskey Company's um, bourbon. Since I got this recently, it was pretty affordable. Um, I got this at my local uh, grocery store in Royal Oak. Um, and since we're not that far from Traverse City, it's also part of the up north um, thing, um, thought this would be a great opportunity to review this whiskey. Has has joined me before. This is Amy. Hello. A uh, long time commenter on the blog and uh, sometime co video reviewer. And then if you didn't know, Traverse City is down here. Right. And we're up here. Excellent. So we're like in the middle. All right. So without further ado, um, let's get cracking. Um, Traverse City Whiskey Company Straight Bourbon Whiskey is 86 proof, um, and it's age stated as four years or more. Um, and a decent price at mm -hmm. 2699. Yes, you can still see the price tag if you can see it there. Um, Forever City Whiskey Company is actually located in Empire, Michigan, which is, yes, go ahead, which is not that much closer to Traverse City than, than uh, we are right now. Anyway, so, take a look. How would you describe the color? Um, I'd say it's a pretty pale, pale amber color. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of barrel coloring in this. No. No. This is some nice kind of thick legs running down the side of the glass there. It smells good too. It drips off of my glass. <laughs> so it smells good. Sort of light in color. Drippy. Drippy, yeah. Um, oh, the bourbon. It's good. Good for attracting certain types anyway. Um, how would you describe the nose? Well, first of all, I'd say it's it's not really strong. Mm -hmm. but there's there's some sweet notes to it. Not not a real rich, thick nose. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, I think it's got some it's got some kind of herbal notes going on. It seems to have seems to be a good amount of rye influence in there. Yeah, I think. a little bit of barrel. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of kind of caramel and kind of. But not oaky. the not the um, real rich butterscotch that no. I like. Often. All right, well let's have a have a sip. That's a nice mouthfeel, mm -hmm. sweet. Very, very light. Kind of old-fashioned candy kind of notes mm -hmm. to it, I think. A little bit of a burn mm -hmm. at the end. I have to say though, for an unknown distillery, mm -hmm. and um, well, I don't know. I've been to the Traverse. What is that one in Traverse City? The Grand Traverse Distillery. Grand Traverse yes. Distillery, where it's just a warehouse mm -hmm. and very rudimentary facilities, which is kind of what I was expecting this to be like. Mm -hmm. It has a much more sophisticated taste. Yes, it does. Than what I was expecting. It's much, it's much richer, much more sophisticated. Lots of, um, I mean, cotton candy notes, uh -huh. old-fashioned bubble gum. It doesn't have that um, sharp alcohol taste that so many um, micro distillers have. Yeah, you get that kind of sharpness. I think especially that happens when small barrels are used. This is really quite pleasant. Yeah, it is. It is. Very nice summer pour. How would you describe the finish? There's a slight, slight burn, but not much, and it's, it's a very nice finish. Yeah, it has a little bit of oak, a little bit of candy, I think. Uh -huh. um, just a tiny bit of spice. Mm -hmm. Tiny bit of spice. Um, Maybe a hint of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. 
absolutely very good. But, but very nice and not at all what I expected. No, it doesn't have that sort of young, sharp no, none of taste that. to it. Um, matter of fact, there's an ebook to that effect. Small oh. barrels make lousy whiskey by ah. my good friend Chuck Cowdery. Uh -huh. uh, so download that to your Kindle or um, Nook or uh, iPad. So we'll plug for my man Chuck. I would there. say this is definitely a thumbs up, especially at the price. Yes, yes. And, and if you're looking for a local, local um, bourbon, um, do you know anything at all about this? Um, no, I don't. Um, it doesn't say that it was distilled in Empire, Michigan, or in Michigan, for that matter at all. Frankly, the nose, the palate, and the finish all scream LDI to me, Lawrenceburg oh, Distillers, fine, Indiana. Indiana bourbon. Yeah. Um, so I would say it definitely is good. I think just kind of on its own. Um, on its own, I think it would be definitely worth a recommendation or a mm -hmm. highly high recommendation. Um, I'm going to have to take points off for lack of truthiness. Okay. Um, nothing is mentioned on the bottle that it was um, not distilled by Traverse City Whiskey Company. Um, <laughs> However, um, it doesn't say Indiana on it anywhere. But it, but it does have a good story. Mm -hmm. In Traverse City, we spend endless summer nights by the lake with nothing but a circle of friends, a campfire, and a bottle of whiskey. Mm -hmm. Here's to more memorable summer nights for our hometown and yours. I think that's good enough. I think they need to be more truthful about the source of their whiskey. Well, they're not saying um, that they made it here. No, but they're not saying that someone else made it either, um, which would be appreciated. Um, anyway, I think it's very good. I think, assuming it is LDI, it's one of the better LDI bourbons I've had. It, it certainly ranks above uh, Redemption. Mm -hmm. Which is frankly irredeemable in my opinion. See what I did. Okay. Um, anyway, so thumbs up from you, Amy. Thumbs up. I will have to knock it down to a mild recommendation for truthiness issues. Um, but so if you're just looking for something to drink by the lake with a circle of friends by the campfire, this would do. Yes, this would definitely do. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, and I hope this has been under 15 minutes. Cheers. Cheers.